Local 3's What the Tech is brought to you by TVFCU, a place for all of us. If you have an iPhone, you may use it every day, all day, but even if you think you know a way around it, there are a handful of settings that Apple hides so well that you never touch them. Okay, well, but the changes can protect your privacy and totally change how you use the phone. Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, shows us five iPhone settings power users swear by. Power users. Well, if you've ever complained about something your iPhone does, there's probably a setting that will fix it. Here are five settings that I change anytime I get a new phone. First, give your phone a name. If you've owned more than one iPhone, it can get confusing figuring out which device to switch, especially when you're managing your Apple account. Well, go into Settings, choose General, and then About. Tap Name, and then call it whatever you want. The next one is about security. Did you know Control Center can be opened even when the phone is locked? That's the menu you get when you swipe down from the top right. If someone steals your phone, they can turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi without you unlocking it, making it harder to track. Now to fix that, go into Settings, Face ID and Passcode, and turn off Control Center access when locked. You'll still need Face ID to open it, but so will anyone else. You should also lock down individual apps. If there's an app you don't want someone else opening when you look away, press and hold the app icon and tap Require Face ID. Even if someone unlocks your phone, they won't be able to open up that app without your face. And if spam calls are driving you crazy, this one helps a lot. Go into Settings, scroll down to Apps, and choose Phone, and then tap Screen Unknown Callers and set it to Silence. From now on, unknown callers won't ring your phone. They'll go straight to voicemail and show up in your recent calls list. When I turn this on, nearly every call that landed there turned out to be a scam. Changing all of these settings should take only about five minutes and will get your phone to how it should have worked right out of the box. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.